So I was sitting down earlier today, playing with my gear cube sandwich and just looking at how cool the turning is. I really wanted to get a two by two gear cube, but I just didn't want to wait for the shipping costs. So I'm gonna go to the store and get something that can help us make a two by two gear cube. Stick around till the end of the video because I have a very, very exciting announcement for you guys. And I'm excited to see what y'all think. Boom. Doesn't look like much, but we've got a little 3D printer here. We're gonna see what we can do with it. No promises, but we're gonna see exactly what we can make with it. All right, so pardon the mess, but we got the massive 3D printer put together. This thing was actually really good price per what you get. I mean, it's all metal parts and it was like $200, $150 to $200 for everything. So pretty cool, but here's the cool part. I've been working for about three hours designing this two by two gear cube. And I think I finally got it to a point where I am ready to print. So I've got my four small pieces, which are going to link into these small ports on top. And then I've got my four big pieces, which are gonna link into these larger faces on the core. And how are they gonna link, do you ask? Well, that's a great question, actually. I just made a print sheet. These are pretty close to like the Lego pins, like you get in a Lego Technic set. Very, very similar concept. The scale is a little bit different, but this should help us link the pieces together to put our gear cube finally together. So I'm gonna get this all on one sheet and then go ahead and print her out. All right, so this is pretty cool. This is like my build pad for this. Uh, getting ready to 3D print it. So as you can see, we've got like all the parts for it. But what I really wanted to show you guys was if I really like break this down to like the first steps, I didn't realize, but like a gear cube, I mean, it's in the name, but it's got actual gears. Like I always thought that the cube was operating off like a three-sided gear, kind of like as you see here. But no, on the inside, it's seriously just a full gear, which is super cool. But I am about to export this thing, throw it on the printer. This is about done. And then we're gonna go sicko mode, putting this thing together. So stay tuned, stay tuned. So what you're seeing now is a time-lapse of the 3D print, but I wanted to take this second to talk to you guys about why I'm actually 3D printing this cube. It's not really that I actually wanted a 2x2 two two gear cube, but there's a very specific reason that I'm testing this out. I'll tell you guys at the end of the video, but thought I'd remind you to stick to the end for the big reveal, I guess you'd call it. All right, so I just let this run for about four hours, and this is what it spat out. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if you guys noticed it yet, but we've got about eight pieces with a core, but only two connectors. So I'm gonna have to go back in and print about six more connectors. I might print just 10 total in case they break, but I think we're on to a great start. I'm gonna put this on the assembly board after we get those pieces printed and we'll take a closer look at it. All right, so I skipped ahead a little bit. This doesn't look like much at all, but I did assemble the first layer of the cube, which actually turned out really nice. I got the exact like lizard kind of skin or snake skin or whatever I called it on the outside. And it's rough, but it does turn. So this is gonna take a lot more work and let me tell you why. But also listen to how satisfying this is. So when I pulled these off the printer, I made not really a mistake, but something I kind of didn't foresee. These were sitting on the bed like this, which means it built up this little kind of like base layer to put the piece on. And you can see like, it's kind of like a millimeter in there, but it built up this base layer so the piece could be sturdy, perfect. Now, what I didn't realize is how much of a pain this would be to pull off. And especially in there, there was a ton of filament in there that I had to just meticulously, you know, pick out with a pair of needle nose pliers which it was super interesting, but I've gotten these pretty good, but now I'm at the stage where I've got all these extra pins and the same thing, they printed a little base on it so they wouldn't like roll around and you just gotta peel the base off. These aren't anywhere near as bad as the other pieces were, but 
you can see how much like extra filaments in there. And then that gives this the chance to kind of like bend in and out so that we can get it in the piece. Also, I'm not sure if I'm assembling this correctly because I had made the file actually like a week ago, um, but I think I did it so the big pieces go on the big platform on the core. So I've just kind of been really forcing these in here, kind of snug. And these kind of like work like those Lego pins. I'm sure all of you have seen those like Lego sets with them, but pretty easy. And then I can just kind of force this onto there. And I don't know if I got that straight, but yeah, I definitely, did. <laughs> I did not get that straight, but there we go. There's another corner on it. Now there is a couple small issues I need to solve regarding this. The first one is that I need to make some kind of a groove in the way bottom of this. I'd initially planned it out so that these little pins, see how they're a bit thicker on the end, they kind of bow out. I wanted these pins to be able to kind of snap into place, but I just forgot to put it in there. So maybe I need to make a new core for this. Um, and the main issue that's causing is these pieces just come out. And when you're turning it, they start to slowly pop out um, on there. Now I haven't had it fully assembled yet, but I'm guessing the issue is still gonna take place, which it's a little bit annoying, but nothing um, we can't solve. This is just version one of this and kind of a test to see uh, the next step. As I said at the start, I've got a very surprising, um, interesting announcement for you guys. So hopefully you're still watching the video um, so I can tell you about it, but let me assemble this really, really quick. All right. so. Took the pliers, cut off all of the excess stuff. We're on our last piece here, which should just very nicely snap into place sideways. Not what I intended there. Let me put this in just like that. And there we go. We have our little two by two gear cube, which is pretty neat looking, I'm not gonna lie. Right here I have my three by three, I think that's what it's called. It's the sandwich gear cube. So this is about accurate size with what the typical two by two gear cube kind of is shaped like. And uh, let's turn it here and look at that. Everything turns on it. That's actually kind of a cool view from the top. It's like a little uh, flower almost, really cool. But see, when you're done, uh, when you're done turning it, some of these pieces, the gears didn't catch. So you kind of got to readjust them. You got to pop all these back in. Yeah. So definitely a lot of innovation that can go into making a Mark II of this. If that's the path I want to go down. However, and this is the fun announcement I was kind of saving for the end. I am currently, I haven't started yet, but I want to design my own three by three Rubik's cube. I have been so sick and tired of these companies giving out mediocre designs, not so good cubes and charging 50 to $90 for a Rubik's cube. I think that's a bit not cool. And so I'll slowly be working on my prototype of my three by three. Who knows, maybe it'll never see market, but I think it would be really cool to kind of design one, see how much it costs to design, and maybe, just maybe, if it's good enough, maybe I'll mass produce it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Definitely, definitely something new for Cubing YouTube, but I've got a rich history in design and I am not afraid to start a project like that, especially with our new tool we bought today. Appreciate y'all for watching. Thanks for sticking around if you made it to this point in the video. Comment gears if you made it to the end. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.